Sup guys, it's Brock, and today I'm just kind of going over a beginner track, kind of for everybody that's getting started in uh, MX Sim, and I don't know, just people who have had the game for a while. Um, it's kind of hard to find tracks sometimes that are like easy and fun, and you can just do lap after lap after lap on. This is one of them, it's called Grassy Knoll MX by JGMX. I'll link uh, the track in the description so if you want to give it a download. Um, it's a really fun beginner track but it also is a super fun like whip jump track so you can just scrub and whip everything. Um, I kind of went a little bit tame on a couple laps here but then you'll see when, I, when you start to go backwards and all that it goes downhill pretty quick because the jumps aren't too big but they're big enough to have fun on. Um, I don't know, this track is pretty easy for beginners because it has small uh, berms and tall ones and it's off camber kind of stuff and then jumps that, you know, they don't go in a perfect line, they're kind of off to the side and step ups and step downs and it's just like, it's a good track for if you just want to spin laps and try to get um, better at the game. It doesn't have too much roughness or any roughness. But it does um, teach you a lot about uh, cornering and also just jumps in general. And if you're wanting to start a, to learn whips and stuff, this is a good track because it just every basically nine out of ten jumps on this track you can you can whip. So um, they're just the right size and the takeoff's good and the landing's good and it just works out good. Um, I played this in first person. And I just have I'm just adding a bunch of clips in uh, as I go. But basically, I turned off my HUD just because it looks better. And even though you can't see the lap time or anything, uh, it's all right. It's it looks good, I think. And uh, yeah, I mean this track's just good to learn if you're playing third or first person. It's fun, um, especially third because it doesn't have any roughness. Um, what I found like when I first started uh, playing this game, I'd play a lot on like parries, um, MX like one and two and one and two combined, because I just thought that was a fun track just for jumps and uh, everything. And I thought it was really teaching me a lot about corners, um, which it does have some good inside and outside ruts on the MX one track, I believe, but uh, on the MX two it doesn't have that. And so if you're Kind of playing the Perry's compound, um, one trying to get better. It's it's like really basic track, but it's really fun for whips and stuff. But um, it's not going to get you better. Like if you play uh, Perry's compound for like let's say five hours, right, and you get the game, and then you're like, oh okay, I'm just going to go hop on uh, like the new Hangtown, or you know, it's not going to work out well because you just don't know how what to do with bumps and everything. So. I mean, this is a kind of in-between track. I'd say do like parries first. That's just a good one to start because it's fun and you can. I know the only thing that I wanted to do when I started uh, playing was just like do whips and stuff. That was the only thing I was interested in, and so parries kind of got me into it. And then this, I'd say, is the next step. And then I'd say one of the new JGMX tracks would probably be like the next step because they have a little more roughness and all the ruts and stuff are a little bit smaller and just a little trickier and it'll get you to learn that and then you can start trying to do like outdoor tracks and experiment with that but it, you're just going to be frustrated if you try to hop on an outdoor track after you're playing Perry's Compound um, and it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't work too well for a lot of people. So that's just my two cents. This is like one of my favorite tracks. I haven't seen a lot of videos on it. Uh, for some reason, because it's like it flows good, and it's got good jumps, and it's got a little tiny bit of roughness, and then I don't know, it's just fun. It's a short, quick lap, and it's got elevation and step up, step downs. The scrub jump, which is fun, and I don't know, it's got a little bit of whoops, and it's just a good track overall if you just want to get started on it. Um, I mean, that's basically it. Just grassy knoll MX, and it. I have a couple videos, I think, 
I mean, I don't really go for fast laps on any track, but this one kind of made me want to do it because it's just a fun track and sometimes I can get around uh, just going backwards and upside down everywhere and I can get around without crashing, which is like somewhat of a miracle. And so I got a like a 135, I believe, or something. And so that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good time. I bl I think for me having the game as long as I have, and just uh, I don't know. I probably tried like 10 laps, maybe, um, when I was first recording for this, and um, that's what I got. So let me know if you're way faster in the comments than that. I suck. But um, I thought that was pretty good. And then, I mean, I don't know what else to cover on. Oh, the last video. Uh, thanks for your guys' comments. You've been noticing that I've been editing more. And uh, I appreciate that because I thought I'd just, you know, throw the video out and then people be like, oh, I don't like this and then I don't like that, you know. So, still, you guys are there and you're not a. Uh, how do I say this? You're very appreciative of. <laughs> the work I put in compared to I mean like big youtubers and stuff so that's good so I'm thankful for that and donut um, commented like the little bill trailer in the thumbnail <laughs> and so that's pretty cool oh he's a celebrity yeah he commented on my video ooh um, that'd be funny to do a video with him one day because that I don't know I think that'd be a fun duo I'm kind of boring but not like on purpose, I just don't really like, I can't really get enthusiasm when I'm just sitting here by myself talking, you know? But I think, I think you'd spice it up a little bit. Also, Goonzig uh, commented a couple videos ago that he wants to maybe do a video, so if you guys want to see that, then uh, definitely say in the comments down below, because I don't know, I want to mix it up and have some other people on instead of you guys just watching me, which you know, it's fun and all, I know I'm pretty cool. I'm not at all, but uh, yeah, I feel like that'd just be a good thing to mix, good way to mix things up. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you're a beginner at MXM, if you're a noob, and uh, if you downloaded this track, you give it a try. And uh, if you like this video and want to see more kind of like this, then uh, don't forget, <laughs> for hit, don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, see you in the next one.